All right, what is up, my friends? Welcome, just another Ma. Oh boy, this is not just another Ma Monday. So I figured I got this one in my back pocket now for a, a little bit. Um, trying to think of fun things to do on Mog Monday, kind of weird decks, fun, uh, you know, what kind of weird stuff can we do? And uh, I've had this one kind of on the back burner for a while. Mono Black Goblins. They've printed a decent amount of Black Goblins over the years, um, Sling Gang Lieutenant being the most recent and best, of course. And um, I kept, like, having it, backburnering it, having it, backburnering it, and I've decided that I've been winning too much lately. We 5 0 last week on Mog Monday. We 5 0 a Modern League or two last week. I was like, you know what? Let's just do it. Six months? Sure. It's been a while. We've been kicking the tires on this one. So we're playing Mono Black Goblins. Before I get to that, real quick, though, a lot of fun goblin stuff going on in the uh, in the magic world. want to let everyone know real fast. Check out uh, my article on CoolStuffInc.com from a few days ago, all about Conspicuous Snoop. Uh, this is the full scoop on that one. It's on CoolStuffInc.com, as well as my video, um, quickly going over right. Conspicuous Snoop and the combo and so on and, and so uh, forth on my YouTube. So Look for both of those. Um, definitely a card we'll be seeing in the future here on Mog Monday in Conspicuous Snoop. And um, yeah, so keep an eye out for both those, all right? So, Mono Black Goblins. And also, before we get to that, there's going to be a little noise today. We have a lot going on. Contractors putting in the tile in the laundry room, and the tree people are here cutting down trees. They are awesome. It is it is so cool to watch them work. Like, check this out. Dude, just like up in the tree, and they have to like, you know, cut off part of the tree with a rope. It swings down and stuff. It's really really cool. Uh, here, watch. So the they tie the branch to the thing. And then the branch falls, but it's on the rope, so it doesn't smash the house and stuff. Really, really cool. So that's all happening right now in the background. So if you hear uh, huge crashes or uh, or um, whatever weird sound effects, that's that's going on. So anyway, uh, mono black goblins. So there are a few good mono black goblins, right? Sling Gang, of course, is the best by like a significant margin. Uh, I also played two copies of Knucklebone Witch in my Mythic Championship 4 deck. Um, honestly, not a bad card. Uh, a little awkward in, like, red-black goblins because you're basically a red deck splashing black, so having a black one drop is kind of tough. Um, a pretty good card, honestly. Pretty good card. Gets bigger for each goblin that dies. Of course, goblins are very good at dying. And um, things drop off a bit from there. Earwig Squad is definitely not a bad card, doesn't really fit into the general paradigm of what uh, what Goblins is trying to do. Um, but it is a potentially a 3-mana 5-3 that can neuter combo decks, which is pretty cool. Uh, with the Prowl ability, of course. Um, and then we're kind of reaching a little bit. We're kind of reaching. Yeah. If um, if a tree falls to the house, you'll know what happened, all right? I get uh, hit with a tree folk or whatever. Um, things drop off from there. We do have the full combo. Uh, we played last week of Metallic Mimic, and then a Persist Creature in Putrid Go Putri Goblin, which also plays well with Face Falter, which we'll get to, and Sling Gang Lieutenant. Those three cards are all in play. It's infinite damage we win. So that part's kind of cool. We have Mad Auntie, which is a pretty mediocre uh, lord here. Can also, But it can protect a goblin, so if you try and go for a combo, that can work. And then a couple of kind of stinky one drops here. Face Vaulter is, you know, a medium sack outlet. Uh, with a future goblin, you can make you know make a few extra sacks and stuff. And then Shambling Goblin, which is the uh, the strictly better festering goblin. And that's really it. Um, three damage. Thanks to Risa, appreciate that. Nine months sub baby. Um, we also have Mutavolt, one of the better goblins in the deck. So. We're really, we're really reaching here a little bit as far as goblins go, but the good news is playing mono black has its, its advantages. Um, of course, Thoughtseize, Inquisition, Fatal Push, all super key players in the modern format, and um, we're almost taking a little more of a Jun-style approach. So if people were asking in chat, why no Aether Vial? Why no Frog Tosser Banneret? Well, we're not really drawing cards. Not a very good Aether Vial, Aether Vial deck. We have some 1s, we have some 2s, some 3s, some 4s, and some 5s. Uh, no Matrons. No way to no way to draw cards. So Vile is not going to be good in this deck at all. 
Um, this is sort of like a an almost Jundi deck. We have the kill spells, the discard spells, uh, Muta Vault, Castle Lockthwain is a huge one. Uh, this card's really, really good, of course. So we have four Castle, four Muta Vault, getting a lot of value from our lands, which is pretty cool. Uh, a lot of snow covered swamps. Got an Urborg hiding down here. And um, that's the deck. Cyboard, uh, four ley lines, because, I mean, with mono black, there aren't a ton of good cyborg options. So four ley line, two damping sphere, two dismember for extra kill spells. Plague Engineer in our goblin deck. Traitor! Uh, extra thought seize, extra fatal push, some surgicals. Um, I'm not going to lie. If we win a, win a match with this deck, I'm going to be impressed. If we win more than one match, I'm going to be really, really impressed. But um, I want to try it. This has been uh, in a long uh, long time coming here to try out this deck. So we're going to do a modern league, and we are playing Mono Black Goblins. Raise your hand in chat if you're excited about that. Because if we fight over this league, I'll... I don't know what I'll do if we fight over the league. I, I probably couldn't find the words. Um, but yeah... Definitely, some of our wins here are going to come off of just like sideboard cards and thoughtsies and things like that. We'll see what we can do. We'll see what we can do. Remember, those streams brought to you by Colos Apparel. Colos Apparel dot shop. Join the Power Drivers today. Get your Power Driver shirt. Tons of awesome shirts on Colos. Um, the new Bolt U shirt for say their Black Lives Matter shirt, which are great. Uh, with all the proceeds going to uh, Black Lives Matter charity, which is awesome. Tons of cool stuff. Colos Apparel dot shop. Check it out. If I 5-0, you'll buy a uh, pile driver shirt. Sounds good. Any target. Tell you what. If I 5-0, I will buy a pile driver shirt and I will give it away to a, a random viewer on stream at the end of the league if we 5-0. Because, I mean, I I couldn't even. I that would be that'd be wild. That'd be crazy. All right, let's go. Round one, Mog Monday, Mono Black Goblins. Oh boy. Even lost the die roll. All right, Shambling Goblin, let's do this. Shambling Goblin, let's do this. A regular Power Jack. Let's take it easy. Utopia Sprawl. All right. Guess we might get Blood Moon here. I'm probably, I'm gonna fetch a Swamp. If I don't draw a Swamp. All right. Yeah, Nicole's still in bed. I've been up since 7:30 to get the. Uh, the tree, the tree people set up. All right, so it's the Ponza deck, Blood Moon and Pillage and Scavenging Ooze. Um, we're gonna take the Pillage here. The Blood Moon is basically irrelevant now that we have two swamps, and we can Thought Seize the Glorybringer, and then we can just kill Scavenging Ooze, I guess. Um, I don't really want to get pillaged, so. Ponza, Ponza, Ponza. Well, Ponza to start our day. We got Double Sling Gang. We have a Shambling Goblin. <laughs> this card's so bad. Oh, man. Stomping Ground, sure. Tapped. Can resub 20 months. Yeah, I just, I'm just playing two fetch lands for Fatal Push. Just a little extra, little extra oomph there. Speak of a Devil. Um, so we're gonna, I guess, Thoughts the East Glorybringer and then just push the Scavenging Ooze. Ooh, did you Blood Braid Elf too? Gross. Um, I mean, we can't really kill a Glorybringer. Blood Braid Elf is pretty gross. I guess there are two lands from casting it. Yeah, I'm taking, I'm taking, take the Blood Braid Elf here. And I'm just going to push this now. There's no reason to give them a, a life for free. So, they have to draw running lands to Glorybringer us. In which case, they're not drawing spells. So, Arbor Elf. Or, or just draw an Arbor Elf. That's also perfect. Um, Inquisition of Ozlik. I mean, you know, they have Blood Moon and Glorybringer. Oh, man. How about a Shambling Goblin? How about that one? Didn't see that one coming, did you? Uh... I don't see a reason to take Blood Moon here. All right, so we're gonna get Glory Banger next turn. That was the one card they could draw that actually turns on Glory Banger next turn, which is pretty sick. 
But what's up? Uh, three damage any target. Um, renovations are coming. Renovations are coming along. Uh, we got a lot of work done outside yesterday. Again, we have the tree folks here uh, cutting down trees. We got the carpenter here putting in the the laundry room tile. It's coming. It's coming. It's been busy, but it's coming. All right, let's draw land here so we can uh, kill the Arbor Elf with our Sling Gang. Or Putrid Goblin. Or Putrid Goblin. Um, I mean, there's very little point in taking Blood Moon. Yeah. Uh, there's a little noise downstairs. A little noise downstairs. With the, uh, with the tiling and stuff. We had Nicole's family over yesterday, had a barbecue, made the whole family outside, um, working on uh, cleaning up the yard and stuff, which is really cool. We had a nice fire going. Blood break off, off the top. Our opponent's just drawing hot fire here. Oh my god, into, into Season Pyromancer to discard that bad card in their hand. Oh, gross. Just gross. We gotta run better than this if we're gonna win with mono black goblins, you know? Uh, let me see, there we are. I post these on Twitter. There's the family helping out in the yard. There's fire going. Made some marshmallows. So our first like outside kind of fire was really cool. So what do they do? Oh they they exerted on my putrid goblin? It's kinda weird. I mean we're just super dead here. We just have actual nothing, so um we draw land. We can combo uh, with um, with uh, Sling Gang, Putrid Goblin, and Metallic Mimic. Alright, and uh, I guess we're just saying go. Maybe we can make some blocks, I guess. I, I don't even know. This deck plays Swamps and taps them for Goblins. Just another Mog Monday. Want to draw another Bloodbird Elf? No way. Oh, another Bloodbird, even better. All right, I've seen enough here. Opponent went from having nothing to, or not much to having a lot really, really fast. Um, and unfortunately the Goblin was already dead. We need to have an unpersisted Goblin. So. All right, so Glorybringer and friends. Bring in Dismember and the Fatal Push. I mean, most of our cards are bad, so I'm not sure what we're cutting here. Like, discard spells are fine against them. I don't think I want a million, though. If we shave, like... I guess Mad Auntie like dies to a lot of stuff. Thoughts on the new Stuffy Doll Goblin? I have not seen that one. I want Fatal Push. I guess I do. It kills a little bit. Let's take out like a Thought Seize and two Mad Aunties, I guess. A lot of cards we could take out of our deck and still be defensible. All right, didn't draw no lands. All right, sure. I think we'll take out the old face vaulter here. Might even start on Thoughtseize, so I can go turn two mimic and then put put the, the witch after it. Boy, I'm all against six, and we have Thoughtseize. Nice. Nice. Alright, thoughts easy. Ya. Your six card hand is two lands. God, all gas. 
Uh, it's probably just Cloythus and Blood Braid Elf over the next two turns. Obviously, turn one Arbor Elf is annoying, but... Alright, so... Unless they draw Utopius Brawl, they can't Blood Braid next turn, so... We're just gonna play Mimic. Name Goblin. Gonna Finx here, I guess. Huh. Alright, so next time we got a Thought City, take Blood Braid Elf. Sphinx is like, I mean, it's fine. It's not like crazy. Another castle. Please don't have any more good stuff in your hand. All right, thank God. Two lands. Let's go. Two lands and a knuckleball. We have castle too, so we can you know draw a little bit here. It's kind of nice. You're at 16, I suppose, but so this is a goblin right now. Yeah. Play forest. Play Topius for all. All right, so they got no, no spells. So they're, they're gonna draw like a land or two over the next few turns. Cavern souls. And we can't take like a million here. Castle obviously hurts. Um, we could mutavolt block Finx, I guess. Maybe just take it. Try and draw a sling gang. It's a big one I like to draw. Knuckleball. In Wakefield. Anyone? Any old baseball fans? It's in Wakefield. Knuckleball. <sighs> Don't draw a spell. Don't draw a spell. Uh, Chopping over lands. World Slayer guys out there for me. They're going to pillage my mimic. That's actually not the end of the world. It grows the knuckleball. They attack for four. What's a baseball? All right, let's take two and then four. Draw a knuckleball. All right, so we're at seven. That's not a sling gang commander. Putrid Goblin, listen, we also have Persist Creatures, okay? Putrid Goblin is here to play. Let's get it for five. Let's go. Let's go. A little Goblin action here. Our lands are doing some work. It's funny, our lands are doing a lot of extra work against the, uh, against the Ponza deck. Please stop drawing spells. No more spells, please. Oh, Anger of the Gods. Fantastic. That ain't good. I guess they killed four of my creatures in the ass. That was pretty, that was pretty good for them. Sling Gang Lieutenant. Mm -hmm. Anger of the Gods is definitely not cool. Not cool. Anger the Gods in their Arbor Elf Kitchen Fink stack. Nothing, nothing crazy here, you know? Nothing out of the ordinary. Draw another Mutavolt. Alright, that's pretty good. So you can, like, fire up this Mutavolt. Get in for... 
a pretty good amount. I mean, Castle and step. They're at seven, six, five, four, three, two. Almost dead. Uh, just mock Monday today. A lot of stuff going on. I thought we were doing my set review tonight, but I got some bad info uh, in my Discord. I thought we had a, a set review to do, but apparently the set, the set full spoiler comes out on Friday, not today. So, uh, yeah, about that. My bad. All right, they probably exert here and shoot the sling gang. Two, four, five, six, there's dead. Untap, tag number six. How lucky. Look at this. The best goblin of a deck coming through here. Mutavault. You'll love to see it. You'll love to see it. That's our first game win, folks. That's our first game wins. Game win. On the board. Mog Monday. Holy shit, we won a game. Oh boy. They're adding six new shrines. What? What's a shrine? One and one in games. Let's go. Hondans. Oh, there's six new. The Hondans? Or is this new? Uh, oh, this new uh, in the new set. Looking forward to my set review. Should be a lot of fun. A lot of interesting cards in this set. Got these cool new wheels for my chair off of Amazon. They're like rollerblade wheels. They're so cool. So we have hardwood floors in the new house and uh, I don't want to scratch the floors. So they are super cool. What's up, Knightley? Mono Black Goblins. God, stop mulliganing. Bona keeps seven. Crap. All right, I guess. Not uh, not feeling too good about this one. What's up, Oscar? Dopius for all. All right. Name in red. We draw a land. Pretty cool. Hopefully they just have all stone rains. Not that they even play that many stone rains, but. Two mana. Utopius for all number two. They miss a land here. I think it's actually bad for us. Yeah, it's such a five spells in their hand. Crap. Earwig squad. Earwig squad. Earwig squad. And no friends. No friends. Up talk. Mono black goblins here on Mog Monday. All right, here it comes. Season pyromancer. All spells in your hand. That's not cool. Pyromancer is pretty good. Play this deck on my cool stuff video today, my my Winona deck. All right. Well, we've drawn about as bad as possible here. Um, Nav, new sub. What's your name? Where from? Nova Rat. Sorry, Nova Rat. New sub. What's your name? Where from? Welcome, my friend. Thanks so much. Appreciate it. Subs are good. If you ever want to sub the sub to the stream, now's the time. Because we are spending money like gangbusters on this house. So, uh, if you ever want to hit that sub button and support me and my family and my stream, uh, fire away. Good time to do it. Good time to do it. Please stop playing things. Pyromancer number two. Yeah, I don't know how everyone in this game. I mean, we, we, we just drew seven lands and two mediocre spells, unfortunately. Discard double Renin six. Okay. It's kind of weird. The fetch line in play, too. Oh, we drew another land. All right. Well, I guess we're just going to concede because we're just dead. So we just drew all lands. Okay. That, that match kind of sucked. Sorry. The 5-0 dream's dead, folks. 
The 5-0 dream is dead. Dead, dead, dead. But we're going to win at least one match today. Um, we're going to win at least one match today. I promise. I'm not sure how we're going to do it. But I promise we're going to win at least one. Probably only one. Probably only one. Sup, Lee? You're a sub. Got it. Almost, almost had that one. Didn't play a spell in game three. Almost had it. Almost had it. Remember, folks, streams brought to you. Never mind. Let's just play. Let's just play. Let's do this. Thanks, uh, three damage. What I'm hearing is the stream keeps going to win a match. So 24 hour stream. Yeah, right. We got this. We're gonna get a nice little. That 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 that's probably like the worst possible matchup for us, because they're just playing a lot of really good cards and removal, um, and their cards are just gonna outclass our cards by a lot. Oh my god, it failed, failed. Why not block a token with the muta ball? Because if I activate that, they probably have, I'll be have like a bone crusher giant or some way to kill it, um, and it's just not really worth the risk of losing my land there. Or they have Ren six, they can just poke it at post combat. So yeah, card, average card quality of the deck was super high. You know, we play against like Ad Nauseam. We can like Thought Seize them and like there's a, there's a fail rate too. But just like the, the red, green, all good card deck, you know, pretty consistent at just putting good cards in play. Um, I'd imagine like Jun to be difficult too. Just like any, like any sort of fair deck, just full of a lot of really high quality cards. Probably gonna be tough for us. Because... Cause, because look what we're working with here. All right, we're going to keep. Lost a die roll again. Six to one. No uh, no karma here on, on Mono Black Mog Monday. Up. Well, I asked for Ad Nauseam. We might be getting it. Dark Slick Shores Go. All right. Uh, just going to discard spell. I just want to see what's up. Oh, my God. They're playing fairies. Can goblins beat fairies? Fatal push, spell stutter, bitter blossom, clinging dust. It's a pretty easy bitter blossom here. I'm glad, I'm glad I played the discard spell first. So spell stutter sprite is pretty good against us. Fatal push, cling to dust. We can beat fairies. We can beat fairies. Uh, Nova Rat. I have a list of you know, my articles that I, I like on my web, my, my website. But I don't have like a, a general reading list. Goblins versus Fairies, 2007. Let's go. What year is it? Cue that. Uh, cue the meme. Let's go. All right, Putrid Goblin, go get him, buddy. Can't spell stutter sprite that one. So here it is. Cling to dust. Fatal push. Spell stutter sprite. Oscar resub month number two. Most important month. Let's go. Fairies in this economy? <laughs> Watery Grave. Shocking. Shocking for Watery Grave. Interesting. Interesting. Now. Hmm. They got five cards. Cause we like open a shambling goblin to see if they uh, spell stutter or not. Obviously, much more concerned with Knucklebone Witch. Yeah, I'm playing shambling goblin. Big whoop. Want to fight about it? <laughs> All right. They're gonna spell stutter sprite my shambling goblin. I think I want to get the Knucklebone in play. I guess they had Fatal Push anyway. Yeah, that's my future job. Actually, actually, just like not cast a one drop. That might have been better. Putrid Goblin. Nice Fatal Pushes. Creeping Fart Pit. Attack number one. I mean, these Grizzly Bears might just go coast to coast here. Lutang I, Clan, I agree. I encourage you to write your local senator, aka Wishes of a Coast, and yell at them because they never give me any goblin preview cards. It's 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 bullocks. 
Bullocks. Never got a goblin preview card. I didn't pre I didn't get to preview, preview ringleader. Didn't preview this goblin. Did I ask them? They know, they know, they know who I am. They know what I want. You know? I got I've gotten a, pre a preview card before. It was like a a six mana uncommon limited card, but They know where I am. They know where to find me. What's happening? Popper? No, we're playing modern. We're playing modern. It's Mog Monday. Play God with every Monday. Uh, episode 36 of Mog Monday. All my YouTube missed them. Oh, I don't count on my sling gangs. My life's smelling like a good card. Remand. All right. And uh, so, mono black goblins today. Hey, on my new address. That's fair. Pluto Delta. Well, now they have Fatal Push for Sling Gang, which is actually a little annoying, but... We 5-0'd last week on Mog Monday playing uh, Persist Combo Goblins, so I wanted to mix it up this week a little bit. Yeah, like Nassif gets to do Rewind. Totally on, totally on, on character, right? Just give me a damn Goblin Preview card. Mad Auntie. Uh... Oh, we're getting missed by clicked. Can you believe it? Oh, it's Vendillion Click. Never mind. Uh, I said draw step, sure. Okay, sure. Midu, I agree. I am actually pretty unhappy that, that Conspicuous Snoop has the full combo ability. I wish it didn't. But again, I have a full article on CoolStuffInc.com. Uh, the full scoop on Conspicuous Snoop if you want to know my thoughts on that one, I also have a YouTube video, but check out CoolStuffInc.com. Again, my full article on Conspicuous Snoop. I just kind of like pretended I had a preview card, and I went over the card. Four new deck lists here. Um, check it out, CoolStuffInc.com. Sling Gang Lieutenant is gone, and we drew a swamp. Not cool. Uh, if I play Mad Auntie, they can just Fatal Push it, but we're still going to do it anyway, so. Play Knuckleball first. Pyrojack, good command. Good command. Very 2020 magic design on Conspicuous Snoop. You know you know what, this card's already got a good rate and a good ability. Let's add another ability that's totally unneeded. And oops! Turn three combo kill, oops! Oops. All right, uh... Mad Auntie. And they can push it. We get to attack here. Whoopsie. Right, get an island. Of course, it's actually underground sea. And they're going to spell Stutter Sprite the Mad Auntie. All right, I guess. So they have two cards left, Cling and Fatal Push. They're going to six. Damn. You know, 2019 magic design, 2020 magic design. Give it a good rate, add some more abilities. What is this? Oh! Fallen Shinobi is a really cool card. Uh, it's the exile. Top two cards are a library, and they can play them without paying the mana cost. So they stole two of my swamps with Fallen Shinobi. And now they're like almost dead in the backswing. They are just dead. Unless they have two beetle bushes. I guess they can gain light with this, right? Level answer, level answer. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. At least we're dead on the backswing too. So we're just gonna gonna serve here. So push the Muta Vault. This gets bigger. I think we're just dead no matter what. They just cling to us, gain three life, and the game ends. That stinks. I uh, still on Long Island. Yep, still on Long Island. We actually moved about uh, about a mile from my dad's house. He wanted to keep uh, our son in the same school district. Mr. Finkel's resub. Thanks so much. 
So they're going to cling to dust to gain three life. So they're going to win this game with a healing solve. Which is kind of sick, actually. But... Alright, well, we'll see if they go for the kill on us. I'm sure they will, but... We had no choice but to attack. They have evasive damage over the next two turns anyway. Alright, that's nine. Uh, yeah, it ain't cheap on Long Island, but it's where we're at. So, ah, oh, Sling getting on the top. Man. Alright, well, good thing we have these Plague Engineers on our sideboard, right? Right? Eh? Little Plague Engineers. Little Plague Engineers. Bring in Fatal Push. Plague Engineer. Nice Bitter Blossom, right? And maybe Dismember? And... I guess they could also have Plague Engineer. Yeah, Ninja, Ninja of Deep Hours is, uh, is modern legal. <laughs> no, Dan, you can keep your uh, you can keep your car off my property. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh man, that's a silly story. All right, so um, we're gonna cut. I think like some number of Thoughtseize effects, it's like eight Thoughtseize. I want to keep the pushes. Maybe I just cut the Thoughtseizes. But now we have Plague Engineer and Answer Better Blossom. So bring in. Maybe you don't want this numbers. Maybe like just like too much. I don't know if they're playing Mistbind Cleek or not. Cards are good. Nah, so we were coming back, we were coming from a GP, and my buddy, my buddy Dan, it was like three in the morning, it was pouring, we were all exhausted, and uh, he didn't realize that my driveway was a one-way, because it was so dark, and he just drove onto my lawn. And we were, we were, so it's like three o'clock in the morning, after a GP, we're drenched in the rain, trying to push his car out of the mud. It didn't work, it was a disaster. And I like, the GP was, it went terribly for me, I really needed to do well to get like one pro point. Um, like did really bad. Just, just funny. Uh, I don't know what to cut, honestly. Really, uh, I'm gonna cut like a mad auntie, I guess. I, I don't even know. This is fine, we'll do this. What did I play at the GP? I think it was sealed. It was a million years ago. This was GP New Jersey in like 2006 or something like that. Uh, this is a hand of, of magic cards. We can keep this. This hand might be capable of winning a, a game of limited, right? Maybe. Yeah, and then the next morning, the tow truck came to, to pull the car out and just dragged the car across my entire lawn. My dad was not happy. Not happy. All right, so uh, obviously draw one drop. It's actually fine because like now I can go Goblin and Walter next turn. You don't don't you spell snare me? Don't you do that? All right. I'm trying to play have a little fun here, but my my mono black goblins. Thanks three damage. All right, so they they shocks. They have fatal push. All right, it's like fine, I guess. Creeping Fart Pit, turn two. We have a full combo, too. Not that's ever going to work, but... Alright, uh, Putrid Goblin, face Vaulter. Uh! So they also had Spell Snare. They also had Spell Snare. Yeah. Yeah. All your fault, mostly lost. All your fault. Castle. Uh, click me? That was a weird pause. Um, I guess we're just gonna sling gang. 
They could counter it, but like, what are you gonna do? Coming in, Face Vaulter. That's a magic card. That's a magic card. Go get him, Face Vaulter. Deck tune-up dealios. You mean deck tech? It's like ten, little ten dollar deck techs. I can do one of those if you'd like. We need every penny we can get, so I don't like sure. My cavern souls, you know? I drew cavern souls against the Ponza deck. And they have no land. Let's see what we draw here. I'm not sure what I want to do yet. I'm not really pumped to play another spell. Now that I know they have five spells in hand. Alright, that plays, I guess. Are there any non-lock control decks in modern? I don't I don't even know what the modern metagame looks like, honestly. Don't you have to play Ringleader? In what? What do you mean? Petty theft, my mad auntie. Rude. It's a march. Why you gotta be so rude? Take one. Knuckleball, coming at you. A Tim Wakefield. Obscure baseball references. Knuckleball. Bitter Blossom. Okay. So you're telling me there's a chance. Look, it's making you a snoop help make a grindy goblin deck in Pioneer. Um, I don't know. Red Cap is just not great. I mean, why do you want Red Cap? Sling Gang is here. I'll have a question for everyone. Hey, Pyrojack, can you make a poll for me? Pyrojack, are you available? Mod, somebody? We could sack here um, to drain for a bit and pump the knuckle bone too. Lord Draken's here. I like a poll. How many of you actually care about Pioneer? This poll question is, do you care about Pioneer? Yes or no? I feel like it's completely faded into obscurity. So yes or, or keep your mulligan, I guess. Yes or no, do you still care about Pioneer? Keep your mulligan. Keep being yes and mulligan being no. There'll be, there'll be a little poll in, in the chat box momentarily. Um, maybe just stay wide here so we have the auntie in our hand too. So The poll's coming. Keep your mulligan. Do you still care about Pioneer? Might care if Historic's eventually Pioneer. Not worth it. I feel like, there it is. So your poll's in chat. Check out your little chat box right here. Hit your poll. Do you still care about Pioneer? Yes or no? Keep your mulligan. I feel like it's completely faded away. And I think it's just because like they just let the Inverter decks and the Heliod combo decks just take over the format. And that became what the format is. And it's just not enjoyable. I don't know. All right, so we're going to untap here. Got a pretty big, uh, pretty big attack force here. Um, all right, we're gonna play Auntie. They're probably like gonna counter it in some way, and then we'll play a knuckle bone attack. Matsu, I totally agree. Matsu says once they banned copycat, they should have committed to no combo decks. I agree. Um, once Pioneer became all about inverter and Heliod combo, I just kind of like checked out a little bit. You know, it just doesn't really interest me as much. I, I feel like the format should be not combo-y because modern is so combo-y. It should be like super standard kind of. Um, definitely agree with that very strongly. 
And it is also weird that they're not not rolling uh, Historic into Pioneer 2. I, I agree. Became shitty modern. I kind of agree with that. All right, so I would trade face Vaulter here. We're just going to attack. Cash your votes in chat. All right, so they block Knuckleball and Face Falter. We're going to sacrifice. I guess one of the unblocked goblins to keep the Knuckleball alive, but still kill Spell Stutter Sprite. Keep voting, folks. We get a lot of votes here. I want to hear your thoughts. Also, YouTube folks, if you're watching on YouTube, leave your comment in the chat. I mean, in the comments. You leave your comment in the comments, yeah. Um, I'd like to hear from you. Let me know what you think. So I was considering playing Pioneer today from Modern Monday, and I was kind of like, who the hell cares about Pioneer? Do people, people still care about it? I mean, I think it's, it's, still, it's still a cool format, I guess. I think that they've curated it really badly. I think that both Heliod combo and Inverter combo should not exist in the format, but... You know? Alright, so fetch land number four. Here comes something. Damnation. What a jerk. But they're almost dead. They're actually one point short of killing them. Up, oh, they're dead with their blossom. <laughs> exactly, Thul. You love to see it. You love to see it. Sling Gang Lieutenant, I'm sorry. Did you say Sling Gang Lieutenant, or did you say... Oh, it's Landing Helix! Oh, my God! All right, so we got about 60% in favor of... Uh, or not in favor of Pioneer, and 40% in favor. Seems about reasonable. I, I definitely can understand that. That is true. They have clingy dust. Um, so I guess... Alright. They, they conceded. We actually get a pretty interesting choice. Do we do we sling gang them or not? Because if they have clingy dust, you know, so we could actually... It's probably correct to just say go. Let them go to three. And then um, and then have sling gang available if you draw more goblins and stuff. Alright, we won another game. We won another game. I didn't even play engineer that game. Alright, so... I kind of think Mad Auntie's a little loose. Just like a really bad lord. Um, and I kind of want the Thoughtseizes back. So bring in three Thoughtseizes for the three Mad Aunties. And uh, actually on the draw too. We can nab, uh, we can nab, nab uh, Bitter Blossom. We can take advantage of being up a card. Let's try that. Let's try that. Ban Inverter, Heliod, Lotus Heal, the format's fine. I kind of agree, honestly. I kind of agree. This is a... This is a hand. Can we keep this hand? Nah, Lotus Field's still legal. I'm just gonna keep. I think I got a little lucky to win, you know? Dark Slick Shores. Yeah, like Dig Through Time being legal. Oh, terrible draw. Terrible draw. It's like bad. Dig Lotus Field. I guess inverter, something out of inverter, and yeah, I guess Heliod or Walking Blister, something out of that deck too. Fairy Seer goes top bottom and they say go. Oh, you're killing me, Smalls. Come on. How many lands are you playing? Like 22 lands in this deck? Yeah, I agree that the whole fun of Pioneer is being a super open format. It does feel pretty solved right now. And 
and unlikely to change much. Well, we suck. Uh, we just run three lands in a row. All right, I guess you're up. It's funny because, like, if we had drawn a Cavern of Souls, I actually wouldn't be that sad. I think resolving Sling Gang would be a pretty big game. What's up, Thunderwonk? Kept a loose one here. Felt like we needed to have we needed the extra card. Need a little lucky to win. Uh, we drawn four lands in a row, so awkward. Coronavirus hurt Pioneer, I guess. Are you serious? Are you serious? Fourth squad, do it. Do it, draw four squad. This is actually unreal. I don't even know. I don't even have I don't even have words for this. Like, this is unbelievable. How is this happening? Fast Masters gift and subs. That's so awesome. Thank you so much, my friend. I appreciate it. Like, what are we supposed to do here? I, I don't even know. We can activate Castle Lock the win. Oh, Field of Romy, do it. Please. Please do it. I want you to. I'm begging you to. All right. Obviously, Thunder Wonk, if they ban the, the decks that are obviously too good, then it'd be, it'd be open again. Correct. Field of Ruin again, sure. Odds we draw land next turn, 100%. Here's the land. Here it comes. Here it comes. to command my um what's the what's the vanilla five three um massive ghouls this is like one of the worst games of magic i've i've seen in a long time just 10 lands three year squads is that even like a thing is this possible is this even happening We draw Plague Engineer. I'm sure, I'm sure, I'm sure, I'm sure they have a, have a second Cryptic, but it doesn't even matter. Please draw land. Complaint Equity. Complaint Equity. Draw land. Even better. <laughs> even better. All right. That that was actually like the case best possible draw for Complaint Equity. Um, you know, screenshot this game. Oh boy. Oh boy. Let's do this. You ready? Boom! Draw a land off castle too. Sling gang. Well, that was fun. Um, they continue to add older sets. Will Historic eventually overlap Pioneer? No, because the, the problem is they're, they're, they're adding curated cards to Historic that aren't in Modern even. So Historic's specifically its own thing. They made real sure to make that its own thing, which is really weird because there are so many formats right now. There's a bit of a bit of, bit of, kind of format, format fatigue, but... All right. Remember, folks, check out B70Supplies.com. 
Best sleeves in the market, the Elite 2 deck card sleeves. Best deck, box, best deck boxes, best binders, best card sorting trays, best boxes. It's all on there. BCIBsupplies.com, promo code JIM10, 10% off your order. Buy some stuff. Sort your collection. BCIB storage is the best. And uh, yeah, check it out. BCIBsupplies.com, promo code JIM10. All right, we got to win a match here. We have not run super good. Uh, we really are, we really are, um, you know, when you play a deck like this, really, really bad. You expect a little karma in your favor, you know? And we're not hitting that at all right now. We're, we're struggling. We're, we're okay. We're okay. We're going to keep. Basic Forest, Hard and Scales. Oh my god. There's no way we could beat a Hard and Scales deck. Oh lord. All right. Thoughtseize. Their hand is not great. Um, take the Ravager, and they have a module. Just do. Yeah, it's pretty mopey. All right. I mean, their hand's kind of mopey. If we can like dodge Ballista, we do have two parts of our combo too. So. If we can dodge Walking Ballista this game, I think we, uh, we've got a chance. I think. Maybe. Possibly. Perhaps. Dark Sail Citadel. Hanger Back Walker. As a 2-2. This is really annoying. I've been getting emails over the last day or two about a Craigslist post for like a like a trailer. I think they have like the wrong there's like a crossed wire or something. I've got like three or four like, hey, is a trailer still available? I'm like, I, I ain't selling no trailer. You know? It's kind of uh, kind of annoying. Um okay. So we just mimic here. No uh no walking ballista, and we have a, a possible combo kill we can draw sling gang. Also putting some power on the board next turn too, so what's up Mohegan? What's up, Sir Zar? How's it going, everyone? Do I have an opinion on fetch line reprints? What do you mean? Like, should they reprint them? Should should they be in standard? What's what's the, the stupid secret layer things? Talk to me. Land of War Reborn, pretty cool card. Please don't play Walking Ballista. Come on. Is this even real? Is this even a thing? I mean, we actually just can't beat Walking Ghost, though, so. We should draw Fatal Push. Basically, exactly Fatal Push. Oh, man. Oh, no. Why are you like this? They didn't have that, obviously. We had like a pretty decent chance to win this game, too. Nice thought sees, bug. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I can't imagine winning this game. Hard scales tends to beat the crap out of creature decks like this. Because of how good uh, Walking Ballista is, and just how fat, how big they go fast, how big they go fast, how big they go fast, how fast they go big. I was also blaming Mick. All right, we're just dead. We're just going to next game. All right. Uh, oh my God, seems terrible for us. Let's uh, let's see here. We're on the play. Plague Engineer doesn't do. A ton against them. Dismember is Mopey. We just want the discard spells on the play for hardened scales, I think. Let's cut like two mad aunties, I guess. Now we're on the play, so we can theoretically discard spell a hardened scales, and then hopefully game three they just won't draw it, I guess.
We're going to get a game win, folks. I mean, a match win. We've gotten game wins. We've won both. Both of our losses were, were 2 1. And the game three we lost, we drew 100,000 lands both times, you know? So, like, we're. I know we're 0 2, but don't let your morale drop too far. We got to keep it up here on my Monday. I think they should just reprint fetch lands in more sets. Maybe just print them at uncommon in a master set. I mean, they would never do that, like, ever. <laughs> Devo should not be in standard. Fetch lands are terrible. Um, they should probably be in more master sets. Yeah, I think I'm I'm of the opinion they should just print more cards. You know, like make master sets cheaper, put more chase cards in them, lower the value of cards overall. Cards are way too expensive. Alright, uh, we're gonna keep this. I'm not about banning fetches in all formats. I think modern and legacy, I mean uh, Fetch lands are just what those formats are. Um, but I think that Pioneer Standard should not have fetch lands for sure. Discard spell. Their hand is Animation Module, Arcbound Worker, The Ozolith, Hangerback Walker. One only, what's up? One only, make sure you wear a mask and be safe, all right? Everything's opening up, and things aren't getting better. Things are only going to get worse. So, please be safe out there. Um, I think I'm fine taking Hanger Back Walker, I guess. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I will not be playing a Paper Magic Tournament until there's a vaccine, probably. So, people are being rather foolish about this whole coronavirus thing. All right, so their hand's, like, kind of mopey, but, I mean, <laughs> our hand is, like, a little more than kind of mopey, so, yeah. <laughs> Shambling Goblin. Hello, Haven. Probably, like, they're going to Ozolith. Why not Module and then Worker Token next turn? Seems weird. Whatever. Uh, Earwig Squad. Ew. Yeah, I mean, our, our government is just, is just terrible. And they're just trying to force force everything open to restart the economy and stuff and get these businesses more money at the, at the expense of people have to go to work. And just people are too dumb to realize what's going on. It sucks. Dark Sail stood it out. Ancient Stirrings. All right. Kind of weird sequencing here, I'm not going to lie. Um, at face value, it looks like they should go turn a module, turn to worker, make a token. But. Ravager's a really good draw off their Stirrings. Uh, the module, sure. So now they've got they've got the full Ravager thing. However, now we get to Earwig Squad, our first Earwig Squad. Let's do this. I always take scale, scale, scales. What a weird card, Earwig Squad. All right, in your ear, please. Okay. Um, so they've got two dismembers. Scrapyard recombiner. Three ozoliths. Two veil of summer. Damn. Is it blister or hardened scales? They only have three ballista in their deck? They only have three ballista in their deck? And they drew the ballista last game? That's unreal. Um... Maybe it's Ballista. I mean, Hardened Scales is like obviously the best card of the deck by a significant margin, but they have, they have zero Ballistas. Oh, they can have one in hand. That makes that makes sense to. So I, I know I know three of their cards, not four. So their last card's Ballista in hand. Oh my god, they've drawn so well. I guess they'll do deck techs. Still do deck techs. All right, I'm taking. Uh, Hardened scales. All 
All right, you're up. So their hand is Worker, Ravager, Ballista, Peatland. Oh my god, they've drawn so well. Nurturing Peterland, too. Penaeva looks a lot like Atlanta or Reborn. Working on it. So they have Worker and a Servo. Um, Knuckleballs? Knuckleballs not bad, honestly. It's pretty good. We just send here. I guess they have Pendlaven. That's gross. You want to save a push for the Ravager? I'm just serve, whatever. I guess they could block the Mutavault and then Pendlehaven that one, but I think it's fine, honestly. Just pump up our Knuckleball. We could push the worker, um, but we got to kill the Ravagers. So this, this is all fun. I'm sure let's, let's let this all happen. So maybe the Mutavolt attack was bad. Maybe it wasn't necessary, which gives them a, a super easy block. It does grow knuckle bone, but like now we lost our, our fourth land. We're just sling gang. That was probably a bad attack. Yeah, I think it was a mistake. For a creature you control leaves the battlefield, if it had counters on it, put those counters in the Ozolith, in a combat, all counters to a creature. Hmm. Alright, we're going to kill this in response to the animation module trigger, so they can't have another creature in play, I guess. Now, I feel you, one and only. I feel you. Obviously, the pandemic's been, you know, of... All the people not affected by the pandemic, I am definitely in the, the top tier. I mean, I still work, I work, still work from home. I game online. You know, I get a lot, a lot of interaction from um, from all you fine folks. Deck Tech, Activist League. Um, they're gonna do much stuff here. So, stay strong out there, folks. I know it's, I know it sucks, but. Gotta keep 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 everyone safe, keep each other safe. So now they have worker servers. I guess I just put the counter on the Ozolith, so now they put a counter on the thing. I don't know how we win, honestly. Like I just don't know how we can beat this deck. Getting through on the ground just seems so difficult. Because now the the worker blocks the squad effectively. And the counters. You can't modular to Ozolith and a servo, right? Like they both say move or put the counters. I'm just like not sure how we win. Honestly. We just like can't get through these tokens and the Ozolith and stuff. We have to just like draw our combo, I guess. Like, I don't, I don't even know. Come on, opponent. Put us out of our misery here.
Walking Ballista. I guess we knew it had that. We just can't. I'm just going to go to the next match. We just can't. We're just wasting our time here. It's not very fun to watch me get obliterated by a deck that I can't really beat. So, um, that one wasn't, wasn't nearly as close as the first two. Uh, oh, and three. Still looking for our first match win here at Mono Black Goblins. Uh, we're trying our best. Every stream is brought to you by Cardboard.Live. Cardboard.Live. If you're a streamer, you must use Cardboard Live. If you're a streamer, email James. Get in the beta. Cardboard Live is basically mandatory for all managed streamers at this point. Uh, super, super awesome, awesome, uh, awesome extension. Check that out. Of course, check out CoolStuffInc.com. CoolStuffInc.com. Number one source for your game shopping needs. CoolStuffInc.com. Promo code Jim5. 5% off your order and a free goblin token with your order. And of course, free content on CoolStuffInc.com. Free content every single weekday. No paywall. No paywall on Cool Stuff Inc. And uh, check it. Look at it. New video from today. We don't want a rider. Check out Naya went on a video uh, on the uh, on cool stuff. Also check out my my uh, scoop on conspicuous snoop on cool stuff and pretty cool. You can do live bias video chat. Sell your cards or video chat. Pretty cool. Check it out. Coolstuffinc.com. We want to die roll. It's all turning around. It's all turning around. Let's do this. Yeah, I can keep this. Sounds great. Like, actually, it's actually good. It's actually good. Let's go. Pulling a ball against a six. Sorry, Chad. Sorry, Chad. Chad's our first victim today. You're a Mug Monday mono black goblins. They said I was crazy. That's all there is to that statement. Let's go, Shambling Goblin. Come on. You got some work to do. Let's do this. Mishra's Booble. Usually signifies a fair deck, which again is probably bad for us. Probably bad for us. Scalding Tarn. Hmm. Hmm. All right, Shambly Goblin, do your thing. See, the goal is to draw a land and squat him next turn. I can't imagine this mimic's this mix gonna live, but. Goblin. Go. Oh, mimic. Mimic, no! Galvanic Blast. Oh, some like Emery deck. Gross. All right, well, land. God. You're killing me, Smalls. Shambling Goblin, go get him. Knuckleball. This card's actually really sweet. I like this card a lot. Play that sweet Lurus Goblins deck on Mog Monday weeks ago and when Lurus had a different rule. Content creation's been so tough lately. Content goes bad so fast. That's a pretty inefficient Emery. Um, constant rules changes and bannings. They milled an Astrolabe and a, a Bobbles. Third, Emery's online here. Um, uh, oh, we can't even guess that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, can, we, can 
we couldn't draw Cavern Souls against the Counterspell deck, you know? For real. You did it, Shambling Goblin! You killed Emery! How did that happen? That's the best thing that's ever happened. Shambling Goblin. MVP. Can you believe that? They have a second Emery? That doesn't even make sense. Just take the one. Wow. 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 What's next? That's amazing. I can fetch. All right. Wow. I can't even can't even can't even find the words. Up oh, there's Urza though. Will it matter? Probably not. Alright. Land. Oh let's see. <laughs> oh right back in the shitter. Alright. All Regent, resub. Colorless Goblins next. Gotta play Colorless Goblins next. Mild Black Goblins working so well. What's up, Fox? How's it going, my friend? Fox says, hey, Jim. It's been a while since I've been able to pop on a stream. Let's catch Mog Monday with my father. That was watching you. Awesome. So I'm glad you guys enjoy it. Mog Monday. If you're just tuning in, welcome. Mog Monday, Mono Black Goblins this week. I 5 0 last week on Mog Monday with a combo goblin deck, and I had a few other 5 0s last week. Figured I would give up. Uh, this kind of meme deck a, a spin. We haven't won a match yet. We've won a number of games. Um, we've also run pretty badly, unfortunately. <laughs> As such. Um, but we're trying. We are trying. Alright, you're up, I guess. Colorless Goblins. They have three cards in hand? I mean, there's like a chance, I guess, we could win this game, right? There are ten. We've got double sling gang. I guess they have Gilded Goose. They can keep making food as the game stalls on. It's pretty annoying. And what you hear in the background is, uh, our contractor working on the tiling for uh, our laundry room. We also have the tree guys here cutting down trees. We drew a land. Uh, what do we do with it? I don't know. Um, Brass Herald. Brass Herald would be cool. It costs like four. All right, two cards in hand. I mean, they have a... Wait, did they fetch a land and not get a Mystic Sanctuary? I guess Galvanic Blast isn't very good right now. They're going to spin Urza, probably, honestly. If something dies, I can Fatal Push. I haven't seen the new spoilers, so I don't know. Just a little cheeky, uh, cheeky putrid goblin here. I mean, you could swat him now. Probably counter it, but whatever. We're just gonna do it. Oh, I'm sorry. I've cavern souls. Never mind. Ha ha! Eww! A little campy countered earwig squad. Sneaky future goblin is getting in there. Jim has his own Isengard factory in the background, mutating orcs with goblin men. 
They've crossed orcs with goblins. They're breeding an army. They're taking the hobbits to Isengard. Um, what do we take here? Like, I actually like taking Mystic Sanctuary because it cuts off their fetches. Um, so they can't fetch Sanctuary anymore. And then maybe we take like two euros. Um, sucks not getting all three. It's definitely Mystic Sanctuary though. That, that's the easy one, I think. Um, and then probably Euro Euro. Euro would be pretty devastating. All right, we did it. We squatted them, cleaned out their ears. Make a food, you got it. Yes, Kites out Freebooter coming back is pretty cool. I think the card should just be evergreen. Now, squad attacks decently well, too. So, blue, 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 blue. All right. Blue. Spin Urza. Hits a Mishra's Bobble. Mm -hmm. It's fine, I guess. We draw a line for Sling Gang. I think we're in pretty good shape. So we have just have two Sling Gangs and two Cavern Souls. I guess they have multiple foods, which is kind of annoying, but... Explosives on one, which will kill Goose, Goblin, and Knucklebone Witch. Not even that bad, honestly. Not even that bad. Draw a land here. Another Earwig Squad. <sighs> All right. Uh, I guess we're going to swing. Might as well just, like, send the one-drops. They're gonna die anyway. Do you wanna get one in and then cast another Eric squad? So we really wanna really wanna do some damage here. Let me just get in. This is a little ballsy, but Actually that was dumb. Because I wanna cast I actually wanna cast Fatal Push on the Urza. The future Goblin should not have gotten in. I think that was incorrect. Oh, they can make a food and, and grow their construct, too. That's true. Let's see what they do. Alright, so they're going to chump with the goose and kill Putra Goblin with the construct. Gives me the ability to... Gives me the ability to... um to push the Urza. Should probably push Urza over playing Earwig Squad. I should pump the thing now. Oh, never mind. They're, they're doing that too. Okay, sure. Okay. Well, this shrinks the construct again. Alright, this is all fine. This dies. Um, we'll give... Doesn't really matter. We get minus one, minus one. Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Push that. And they've got two cards left. And yeah, Future, Link, Future Goblin is a, it's a Monster Shambling Goblin, too. Just a monster drawing out these engineered explosives and stuff. You gonna bobble me? Sure. Let's draw land. Let's draw land for double sling gang. Let's do it. Did it. Uh, trade squad for construct. And then just start shipping sling gangs. One sling gang at a time. And then next turn we could always like Thoughtseize squad them or just sling gang and maybe even kill them. So let's see what happens. 
They could have like a, a galvanic blast, something too. Emery Lurker of the Lock. It's funny that Emery's 1 2 body here is like super relevant, giving me a bunch of 1 1s in play, but sure. I mean, I guess they have a bunch of food, so actually they're, they're effectively at, at 9 higher life, so yeah, we're gonna. Food Castle? Sure. We're just gonna move right to combat. If only we had Shambling Goblin, that is true. That is true. All right, they're gonna cryptic tap here, which is kind of loose. Um, all right, so that resolves. We're gonna thought seize them, and then play another sling gang. I'm watching. I see that. Their hand is metallic rebuke, Creeping. metallic rebuke, metallic rebuke. Take one of those. Thanks. You did it. And they could have metallic rebuked it. They could have. They and play Sling Gang and say go. So they're eight and we have If I were them I would have meant Alec or Boop did. What, the Thoughts use? Yeah. yeah. I think it's reasonable, honestly. I mean why not? Why let them know? Yeah. And I I agree. <laughs> they just wanted you to see their hand. I like it. Oh Occam Astro. Mom's here. Hi the goblins. I am the go I am the goblin matron. It's true. That is me. I find the goblins. That's what I do. I found goblins. Can you find me? Actually, there are no good cards in my deck. Never mind. <laughs> I guess a mad auntie would actually be good here. Because we have a bunch of two twos. What does that card do? It's just a bad lord. Mad auntie? Yeah. It's a two two for three, pumps all goblins, plus one, plus one, and then it can tap to regenerate a goblin. That sounds fantastic. It's really bad. It's a quality card. Yeah. It's about as quality as goblins get. I found them. I mean, I think we're... I guess they... Didn't they have explosives in their graveyard? They could have, they could have explosives off of the emery. It's interesting. Instead, you win. Gay. Blouses. I haven't heard that much on the stream. <laughs> All right, so... Bring in Dismember and Thoughtseize and maybe push. Um... Let me cut in here. So, we need to be able to kill Emery and Urza. That's, like, really, really important. I think Thoughtseize is fine, too. Drawing Cavern of Souls is pretty clutch to that game, obviously. Um, we've got the Aunties, maybe. They have Galvanic Blasts. I guess they have a lot of explosives, too. They could, like, shave a Face Vaulter. We haven't Face Vaulted once yet. Our third game one in the league. We just can't string together enough for a match win yet. Got like a face falter. Some mad aunties. The one drop's important. Let's try this. Let's try this. What's up, Del Doom? You folks tuning in, welcome to the stream. Mog Monday. Just another Mog Monday. We 5 0 last week. I was winning too much, so I decided to break out the meme for this week. Mono Black Goblins. We are 0 um, 3. Honestly, our first two losses, we, we, went, we lost 2 1, and both game threes, we drew a million lands. We uh, got crushed by Hardened Scales last round, and now we're up a game against Teamer Urza here. And obviously, we're mulligan again. Put on mulligans also, though, that's fine. I think I'd happily trade mulligans because it ups the variance and, uh, you know, it gives us a better chance to win. So, I promise a match win here. I promise a match win. So, we're going to try and get one. I'm going to eat this uncrustable because I'm getting hungry. I've been up since 7.30. Getting the tree guy all set. Getting the contractors all set. Going to keep this and ship Shamley Goblin because it just kind of sucks. Uh, Aether Vile would be terrible in this deck, unfortunately. Uh, no matron, no ringleader, no card draw. I mean, we would it would run out of gas super super fast, and Boggart Harbinger 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 is just like pretty bad. Um, just like you know, not yet on that one. Wait, you wait wait a few uh, a few weeks for that card, all right? Boggart Mobs also pretty bad. At least the cheap cards are cheap, you know. Their hand is Emery, Euro, and Lens. So that's actually pretty nice. Take the Emery here. 
and leave them with not much. Not much. Uncrossable dance. Nope, this song is fair use from the YouTube free music archive itself. Sounds like Toe Jam and Earl, but it's not. That'd be sweet. I'm okay. I'm okay. How to beat Euro? I don't know. Uh, hmm. Probably can't beat Euro, but what are we gonna do? Who can beat Euro anyway? You know? How does anyone beat Euro? You can get sure. Mystic Sanctuary. Euro is a pretty dumb card. We combo this game, we can draw a Metallic Mimic. Yeah, we can. They got nothing, realistically. So, Zero the best creature ever printed? No, but. Oh, they're still gone. It's a good lunch, uncrustable, and a single Oreo. Nah, Halo. No sellout song. I'll sing it for you if you want, though. All right. Well, now they have Euro, and uh, they have a Buke in their hand. It's pretty lame. Ah. Uh, We do have Future Goblin, though. We do have Future Goblin, so there's always that. Oh, boy. Halo Spades, I see your your sub badge, but I didn't get an alert saying you subbed. I don't see you on there. So yeah, this is not very fun. I'm pretty sure we just can't win. I wish I can't beat a Euro. Need to draw a kill spell, I guess. I'm not even sure what that would be, though. And they have Metallic Rebuke in their hands, so... It's gonna be hard to resolve anything. We could we could castle here over take four, which is pretty crazy, but 
Alright, uh, whatever. I'll just do it. What's the draw to playing mono back black? Uh it's it's fun. <laughs> it's a thing you can do. Shambling goblins draw. Ooh. Back in the game. Cavern of Souls. Love to see it. Halo Spades, sell out with me, oh yeah, sell out with me tonight. Halo Spades is going to give me lots of money and everything's going to be all right. Da -da -da. Ooh. The problem is we can't cast this through a counter spell with the Cavern of Souls, but still not a bad start. All right, so we can pay for a we can pay for a um a mana lake effect. You can't beat cryptic command, but no, I, I the salad song got turned off a while ago. It just was annoying to hear it ten times a stream every stream. Um, my alerts are currently broken right now. Anyway, we're uh. We're hoping to start the downstairs office uh, next week. Um, we uh, had the, the electrician coming later in the week. This is my temp. We're, we're, I'm in one of the guest bedrooms right now in the upstairs. One of the you know we we have three upstairs rooms done. Nicole and I are working on the master right now. I mean, then we go downstairs. Um, like the electrician's coming uh, at some point this week. A few things to do in the uh, in the office. Then we can start cleaning it and painting it. So hope to be in my new office. We'll say two weeks tops. Uh, so we'll say Crazy Donkey, Real Big Fish and Streetlight. I was probably there also, Dan. Crazy Donkey was a good place to see shows. Yeah, the alerts are the alert, the alerts work for a while. I just had this like sound effect whenever someone someone sub, but then the then the things just broke. So Oh, they have a, they have a metallic. Oh, God. Oh, they're they're blasting me. Uh. Okay. Are they trying to like blast me again? All right. We do win the game next turn if they if they can't interact with my mimic or my sling gang. Do you imagine winning a match with this deck? Don't let's not get ahead of ourselves there, uh, Mitu. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. We know their hand is Metallic Rebuke, and they have two unknown cards. We just draw the Case Cavern Souls for this mimic. That'd be so cool. Let's not be hasty, I say is. Oh no, red and six, god, what a stupid card. Now we have to draw exactly Sling Gang to win next turn. God. Hello darkness, my old friend. I hate red and six. Alright, here it is. Sling Gang off the top for the combo kill. Emotional damage on the stack. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, imagine playing one pep the creatures in a world of Ren and Six, you know? Dumb card. Thought sees you. Alright, so they're gonna rebuke it. We're gonna pay. We're gonna fetch a land.
They don't want me taking two. They have no cards in their hand. <laughs> like, it's one thing to like, if, if they had like a land in their hand, to like try and conceal that they have a land. But they're countering my thought sees with zero cards in their hand. So I just don't lose two life. Sure, I'll take it. Yeah. Done. All right, six to 18, no Did cards in hand. Did you leave like a good part of those trees? Yeah. Okay. Of all the trees, just the one tree. Two. What, the, the dead one, too? Yeah. No. No? Yeah, just get rid of it. That's dead. So leave one? Yeah, just leave the one, I guess. Okay. I did you want to do both? I mean, I thought I did, but like... If you want them, then sure, tell them to do that, and then we'll decide later. Yeah, it's fine. Tell them to do both. So don't, don't, don't do that, then. All right, so... Um, sling gang off the top here. Win the game. Sorry, we're, cut, we're cutting trees down and stuff. All right. Uh, well, they're probably still going to win because they have Euro, but... Gain three more life. We're the best couple on the internet. Thanks. Nicole's all right. Nicole's been doing a lot of her commentary stuff for VML, which is really awesome. Um, that's on Friday nights. The Ents are watching... Gilded Goose. All right, can we please just draw a Sling Gang Lieutenant? You know how awesome that would be? I want it. I want it. Let's do it. Nope. All right, we got to just cast a Mimic and just start drawing off of a... Uh... Start drawing off of our castle. So name Goblin. Now if our Goblin blocks, we have infinite blockers in theory. Gonna draw. Hey, got him. I don't even think we attack. There's not much removal in the deck. I'm just gonna get keep keep, keep the, the future goblin block train going. Euro's worst nightmare: a two-two shambling goblin. Behold the power of a two-two shambling goblin. SNG, thanks to the bits. Appreciate that. All right, so if they have a way to kill my, my mimic here, we're gonna get blown out. But comes back, persists. We have infinite persists. Sling gang off the top. We're draw. We're doing drum roll every turn. Nope. Not bad though. Um. Four. Three. I mean, Harbinger's not. Harbinger's okay. It's not great. I guess we just draw. We we're putting ourselves dead to cryptic by doing that, but. Making a food. They're also drawing two cards a turn, too. We're trying, folks. I'm trying my best. All right. They're cracking those lands, looking for spells. They bounce Muta Vault, tap the team, and we're dead. Without, without two meter vaults in blood. Here comes Salty Jim. Why would I be salty? I'm playing the worst deck I've played in a long time. Well, they didn't do it, so. So tap, draw. Stone attack step. Paul has given us a lot of chances here. 
A lot, a lot of chances. Lots and a lot of chances. They just really want to see what this deck does. Really want to see. What is this? What are they doing? What are they doing? Paying costs. Explosives on one. They're going to kill all four of their astrolabes and their gilded goose. Please. Please do. Mutable. Sling gang! No! Now I can't draw cards anymore. Now the real question. Do you want chicken tendies or bagel bites? Um, we, we live in a gourmet <laughs> household, folks. We don't have functioning kitchens. So I we have, have tater tots and french fries. Um, I don't know. What do you want? I don't, I don't really care. Surprise me. Surprise. Uh, I can't imagine we, uh, I guess we just, I guess it, they're just getting three life a turn. Tater fries. Five year old comfort food needed. <clears throat> imagine just like drawing a sling gang. How cool that would be. You should do that. I should do that. Not off Castle Lockaway, though. Yeah. Well, we've, we've exhausted our... Oh, God. Oh. That was anti I wonder, I wonder if they'll kill us or not. They made some suspect plays so far as match. There's no way they don't, I don't do know it. They got us. They did. They got us. Top card sling gang? No. It's just face falter. Oh, God. Quality magic. Oh, God. Um... This deck is so bad. It can hear you. It's right here. <laughs> Speaking of, we've had a noise complaint from one of our neighbors. Funk Master is not very happy with you. Noise complaint. <laughs> noise complaint. Is that a song? Of course it is. Yeah, it's, it's Big D and the Kids Day Ball, right? What's wrong with Funk Master? I don't know. I haven't seen him all day. Yeah, they're freaking chopping down trees and stuff. He's probably really unhappy. Yes. We won the first game of this match, yes. Um... I don't know if we want surgical, like. They put stuff in their graveyard. Yeah, it doesn't mean it's good, like. I, I mean. All right, sure, whatever. Bring surgical, cut a mad it, auntie. Is it any better than any of the other cards in your deck? I'm just gonna land, maybe. Why are you playing Dismember? Yeah, I kill Urza and Emery. It's like pretty important that I kill those. Okay, sure. Um. So like on top of the fatal pushes. Yeah, I mean you gotta kill them. Yeah. I guess we're on the play now, so we can discard spell them too. I'll cut, I'll cut one of these. I'm so smart. Actually, that doesn't even matter. I don't know what I'm talking about. Does it matter? Does I don't know what I'm talking about. Community service league. Community service league. It's pretty. Uh, I thought that's what this was. Pretty backed up. Um, what? this hand's great. It's your dismember. Look at this. Let's do it. Why do you need more than one? Boom. We got a squad here. Squad up. All right. Well, I'm gonna go put your lunch in the oven. It's your lunch. Don't act like it's not your lunch too. Well, all right. I'm having don't bagel act, bites. Don't act like it's so they make. They, but I think they I'm make, making you tendies. No, they make bagel bites. That's great. No, because you don't really like bagel bites. Yes, I do. Make the freaking bagel bites for God's sake, Jesus. I need to know. Domestic dispute. Jim and I had a discussion about the quality of pizzas, like non-pizzeria pizzas, because obviously pizzeria pizzas like up here. As long as you're in New York. But then, like, he was saying bagel bites and Celeste pizzas were, like, flip-floppy. And I was like, there's just no way that Celeste pizza and bagel bites are on the same Bagel level. bites are a little bit better. And they're just so much better. He didn't like So my much better, has been called. My, my Gino's Totino's dollar. Well, that, that's just garbage. Walmart. That's, like, actual just like cardboard. It's actual cardboard with cheese on that's, it. That reminds me of my, my college days when I actually had money. I used to eat rice aroni. Like, that was my meal. Like, 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 Inquisition here? That was broke. 
and set up dismember versus Mule Shrine Squad next turn. But, and then he says, like, what, DiGiorno and then Freshetta? So Freshetta is the best buy, like, a Freshetta, lot. Freshetta, DiGiorno, Bagel Bites, Celeste Pizza, Totino's. Yeah, Freshetta is, like, by far the best. DiGiorno is pretty medium. I've never had a Tombstone. Tombstones are, like, like, on your Tombstone. Yeah. Tombstones are, like, pretty not great. They didn't, they didn't block, which is pretty good. So maybe we know they're not going to block next turn, maybe. All right, we're going to get position. I love Red Baron Pizza. They used to be two ninety nine at Wegmans when I went to college. I used to live off of those. Uh, I guess I maybe eat nostalgically more than for, for flavor. <laughs> I guess... Right. Celeste Pizza is like little microwave pizzas. I used to eat them a lot when I was a kid. We don't even have a microwave here, so... It's true. We can't even live that high life. Yeah. Las <laughs> Pizzas. Las well, Pizzas is not the high life. It's the it's the aggressively medium life, but <laughs> are they get a Euro here, Either I guess. Way. Euro. I'm put on some chicken tendies. No, I want bagel bites for God's sakes. If you're making bagel bites, I'll have bagel bites too. I was gonna eat both. They're gonna call domestic dispute services on us, alright? We're fighting over bagel bites. No, we're fighting over chicken tendies. The bagel bites are a given. Yeah, exactly. So give me bagel bites. That that's a given. Uh, we're 0 and 3 uh, here on my Monday playing Mono Black Goblins. Arguing over Bagel Bites. Yeah, we a highest viewer count of a day for our domestic dispute here about, about Bagel Bites. Uh, Astrolabe, Vicious Bobble, blah, blah, blah. No one cares what they're doing until those dumb cards. Untap. And we're getting in with our, our, uh, our squad here. Thoughtseize. Thoughtseize is a little tense. We have December free Urza, though, so this is actually pretty sweet. We might get him, folks. I guess they do have Euro, and we can't actually beat a Euro. <laughs> but, squad up. We just like figure out their hand, too. All right, so, they've got two Cryptic Commands in their deck. I think this deck plays more than two. Uh, Emery, Explosives, Blast. Might have a Rebuke in their hand. Definitely don't have an Urza. I think we're taking Sanctuary, Sanctuary again. Um, and actually, I don't even ask for leave now. I was going to say, if we take the red source, they can't fetch a red. But, Goose is gone, Euro. All right. Definitely taking the Sanctuaries to turn off that nonsense. And then, no point in taking Euro. Oh. What are we taking here? I think cryptic maybe. Sure, whatever. All right. Doesn't matter that much. Just a five three for the most part, you know. Just a big uh, a big boomer here. All these amazing rare goblin cards. So we think they have a cryptic in their hand. Definitely gonna just get a fire and an attack. And then we'll probably fire up a Thought Seize into a Putrid Goblin. That's a nice hit. There are 12 Thought Seize away. So here's the cryptic. Are they gonna counter bounce something? Or just counter draw. Counter draw, sure. I mean, that's pretty good for us. Now we get the goblin in play. We got a pretty good board state. We have a kill spell for Urza. I guess they can Euro us. If we, if we can, we can get the block though. We can, we can dismember to shrink it. We have, we have lands for sling gang. What's up, Aura Bork? Scalding Tarn, two mana, four mana. All right, so they're gonna play Euro. We need to just swing into it and, um, I guess kill it, right? With this member, works, 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 works. All 
All right, now they can rebuke by playing a land. It kind of stinks, but. They just shock? What is going on? They got the all Ren 6? They're taking 1 million damage cast Ren 6? Kinda sucks. I mean, now we attack probably just them. December to kill the, or the Euro. Uh, that's interesting. Uh. Alright, so we're going to swing. We're going to ignore Ren and Six. Them getting back fetch lands doesn't really matter, I don't think. Um, they'll hopefully block the 5-3 with the Euro. And we'll dismember it. Because they, they know this. They don't, they don't know this. Ah, oh, cool. Alright, so... I guess we're just going to not even... We'll pay... A black. Yeah, that works. Leave a push. Alright, so... Unfortunately, the Euro is almost back already again. But... They're at 8. We have Sling Gang in our hand. We got Attackers in play. And they have an Emery, which can get back Euro. Oh. <laughs> they mill Emery, Goose, Urza, Urza. Alright, so let's just draw, like, a fetch land, I guess. God, I hate Euro. We even brought in Surgical, too. You know? Draw steps definitely surgical. Definitely. I like it, Mimic. Oh, man. I can't even play that in the face of Ren and Six. I guess I can. Maybe they'll screw up. Maybe they'll screw up. I mean, they know we have push, but. Alright. You're up. No Mystic Sanctuaries for you. Yeah, I think the problem with Euro is Euro shouldn't gain 3 life. The problem is you can't race it. It's a never-ending card advantage engine, but if you could race it, it'd be fine. The fact that you just can't race it, it just keeps gaining life and gaining life, it's just, it's just really heinous design. Um... Um, I doubt they have an instant speed way to remove this. This is a free revolt trigger. Cool. One red in the pool. Galvanic Blast, my Mimic. Not even going to use the Ren 6. Okay. And they could have done that in... Our opponent's not playing very well. Um, if they do that in combat, then my Goblin doesn't persist properly. But... Oh my god. Oh man. We have to kill Euro. It's more important than killing Urza. I think they just get it back. I don't even know. We just can't win. Their cards are just too good. They have not played well. They played pretty badly the entire match, and it just hasn't mattered at all. Our, our deck's obviously terrible, but... Um, what 
Wait, what? Why didn't my Fatal Push kill their Euro? Oh, they countered it, though. <laughs> Someone in chat said I chose the wrong option, and I was like, oh, crap. But, uh, yeah, they just countered it, right? Okay, um, yeah, I mean, we're dead, so nice, uh, nice, nice magic cards. They're 12. Like, if Euro didn't gain him six life this game, we probably win. We do win, actually. We, we exactly win with uh, with six damage. But yeah, Euro gaining life is just egregious, egregious design. All right. Oh, and four. We're looking for that win. I thought I might have had that one. We did not, unfortunately. Go for the W here on um, Mod Monday. I said I would be lucky to get one win. Well, now I only have one shot left. So um, we're trying. If you haven't followed the stream with that follow button, of course, watching on YouTube, make sure you follow on there. Mod Monday, episode 36. Goblins every single Monday. <sighs> yeah. I mean, oh boy. Oh boy. Uh, what about the new Goblin? I have a video and an article all about Conspicuous Snoop. All right, remember folks, check out my articles on CoolStuffInc.com, check out my YouTube, check out my Twitter. Constant feed information. So if it's a big topic, I usually I try to cover it as soon as possible, you know? Our opponent is 0-3. So let's see if we can get him here. No! No! All right. Goodbye, Auntie Inquisition. As far as five card hands goes, it's not a bad one. Please be a deck at scoops to uh, Earwig Squad. They're playing elves. Elves versus goblins. We could just no way we can win. Um. All right. They're just playing elves. We've mulliganed to five, and they just have a handful of creatures. Oh boy. Dual decks. Mono green elves versus mono black goblins. Alright, you drew a land. Earwig Squad has some serious work to do. F Fresh Leader, thanks for resub. Appreciate that. 10 months. Thank you. Now oh, they have three lands in end. Oh, they only have two, actually. You're right. So they just draw all three drops the rest of the game? That'd be cool. Do I never use Aether Vial with Goblins? What do you mean? Castle Lock. Right. Here comes Putra Goblin. Eat. Block Giant Growth. All right. all right, so... Fire off Squad. Squad up. Let's take a look at this elf deck. This 0 and 3 elf deck. You see that they were really cool. They put they put, they put like mono red elves. Alright, so there's a lot of elfy cards here. This uh Steel Leaf Champion Winding Way. I guess taking clan callers is kinda cool, because they can't search for more of them. That's not gonna happen though. They do elf they have Arch Arch Druids. Sure. Alright. Now, it'd be cool if I didn't draw land. And didn't play Steel Leaf Champion this turn. Uh, no, you cannot Aether Vial, Prowl, and Earwig Squad. Oh, no. Um, Aether, Vi Aether Vial is great in goblins, but only in certain goblin decks. This deck doesn't have enough creatures. We have no card draw. Aether Vial is not a very good card. Um, it's specifically insanely good in certain scenarios, but not good on average. Um, you gotta have a lot of card draw on your deck and play a lot of creatures. And we have no card draw, we're playing discard spells, things like that, so. All right, there's a 6-5 Steel Leaf Champion. Oh, although, there's a silver lining here. 
We sure mimic. So now any sling gang wins the game by itself. Which is pretty cool. Um, Alright, so let's just play Mimic. We're not going to attack. I'd rather just defensively block and just try and draw. I'd rather have as many draws as possible to get um, a Sling Gang and just kill them. So we'll just say go. We also, actually, we also have an infinite blocker here. Can't block the Steel Leaf, but... Awesome eat size, but Grumgully is cool. All right, so playing Arch Druid, I mean they 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 can just play like literally, literally everything here. So we we'll probably have like two draw steps to find our uh, our Sling Gang. Yeah. Uh, they only have about 55 power in play, you know? Plays the game with Grim Tutor. Grim Tutor's not a very good card. Grim Tutor's actually actively bad. Uh, it's playable in Vintage because it, you know, it's, it's playable in like Storm decks at Dark Ritual, but Grim Tutor is awful. Um, if it costs two or one, maybe, but. Alright, so they're coming in here. This is actually pretty fine for us. So we get to trade off the squad and just empty block this thing. We're still at 20. Oh, a champion was a, a seven top. Doesn't even realize that. I'm stupid. Uh, mm. I mean, one mana is the difference between Lightning Bolt and Lightning Strike, right? You know? Or Elvish Mystic and random bad two mana elf. One mana is a lot. One mana is a lot. Orn Reef the Vastwood. Elvish Champion. Yeah, Aiden, that'd be way too slow, unfortunately. Having three mana at sorcery speed to not actually do anything is not going to work. We could we could have played the the Harbinger, but... Alright, uh, I believe we're just dead. I mean, we have two blocks here. Take nine, 19. Yeah, we're just dead. Alright, well... Um, top card wasn't Sling Gang anyway. This is good news, though. There's good news. I think we can take this one. All right. We all get a five that game, you know, which obviously sucks. But we have a lot of removal spells and three plague engineers. Uh, B, thanks to Resub. Appreciate that. Oh, this deck's terrible. This deck's awful. Um, I said at the beginning I'd be surprised if you won a match. So I think this is our match to win, though. I think we can win this one. Um, we're going to take out the... The Mad Aunties. The Fawtsies. Let me cut a face falter and leave in two Thoughtsies. Now we have six removal spells with three Plague Engineers, so... Keep, 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 keep. Let's go. Yeah, this 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 episode of Bog Monday was strictly for the memes. Strictly for the memes. Put it ball against the six. God, we'd love to see it. We'll take everything we can get right now. All right, so knuckleball. Gotta draw a land. Gotta draw a land. Plague engineer on Mog Monday. Let's go.
All right, there's your... The problem is that they just play a Lord next turn. The Engineer doesn't even do anything. You know? Might you draw a kill spell, too. Knuckleball. Knuckleball. I have played Drown and Lose Crusade in tournaments before. I played that in the card extended. It's a preemptive answer to Engineer Plague. All right, so we got to draw land, and they have to not have a lowered effect. Or bagel bites. Oh, we got bagel bites. I wanted nugs though. I I'll, I will eat your bagel bites, all of them out of spite. Okay. And my own. Don't play a lord. Don't play a lord. Bagel they're bites. Tap three. Bagel bites. And they're playing. Don't play a lord. Come on. No. No. It's not a no, lord. No. It's another elvish mystic. No. And then another one or else. Nope. Not a lord. That's even worse. Well, you said not a lord. Stupid play in here. I don't eat like that, but I'm still so skinny. Well, we're eating we're eating pretty bad right now because we uh, we just bought a house and we don't really have a kitchen right now. Yeah. We're redoing the kitchen, so we have like so an, we have an oven and right. a really dirty old freezer. We've been eating Uncrustables, bagel bites. Oh, like... I mean, you should still play it. I don't think so. I need a squad. Like, it doesn't, the engineer doesn't kill anything. And what then the, does the, Prowl the, do? What does Prowl do? Go yeah. look it up. It just seems like cheaper. It doesn't make sense. What do you have to? Is it like if you attack? Yes, well, you, have, you, have, you have to deal damage with, with a creature which shares type with it. Ah. Uh, two cards in hand. All right. So the thing is, if I if I play Engineer now, they just don't play the X ones, right? So I don't they I don't get to kill anything. But if they play X ones and then I play Engineer, then I get to kill them. It's good tempo. So. So I'm play. Should I play the five three for three? Look at their stuff. They'll play some stuff, and then we'll kill their stuff. All right. What do they bring in for me? What do they got? Anything cool in here? Reclamation Sage. Okay. Uh, they have a clan caller in their hand again. Boreal Druid. I mean, I, I could like take these Steel Leaf Champions, I guess. It's like the biggest card. Archdruid, I don't know. Steel Leaf seems like a pain. Whatever. It doesn't really matter that much. If we draw a second Engineer, I think we're happy anyway, you know? We'll just play Engineer next turn and then play Engineer the turn after that, so. All right, here it comes. Big payoff. What is it? Winding way. Choose creature or land. You're able to top four card of a library. They chose creature. They drew three cards off that. Tilt. Nope. They drew a winding way. Never mind. They drew, they drew two cards. They drew an arch druid and a clan caller. That sucks. Tap four for clan caller. Clan caller. God. It's <sighs> pretty frustrating. All right. Um. Let's talk about everything. Six, seven, this is eight. Got him. Ooh. <laughs> you see? This is why we didn't block. So. Or I didn't, I didn't, didn't play the uh, engineer last turn. So we do, we got knuckle balls. But now I get to kill the clan claw, or actually have a chance to win the game. Whereas before we didn't. Um, so. They just like don't block there. We uh, probably can't win, realistically. I 
Heavy losses for sure, but now our earwig squad is still pounding away. Let's choose Elf. And you're up. They can play Arshruid. These go back to being two twos, but we also have the uh, the Sling Gang plus the Shambling Goblin, which can kill the Archer, which is awesome. Uh, that one hit Rexage, Heritage Druid, and Warcrawler. Warcrawler is pretty good. It's kind of annoying. Aiden, there are very few of those cards. All, all were considered for this deck, trust me. All were considered for this deck. We're really just scraping the bottom of the barrel here to try and get uh, Mono Black Goblins to work. Oh no, Aiden, I appreciate it. Just let you know that we uh we really dug down that hole pretty hard to try and find this deck. An entire goblin deck with zero actual goblins. Yeah, that'd be really, really hard to do. There are very few playable changelings changelings, unfortunately. Alright, that was great. Um Do you want Thoughtseize against them? Maybe to take to try and take the Lords. Maybe do. I think these face vaulters are just gonna go. Just try and like kill all their stuff. Play a plague engineer and win the game. Like they can't actually remove plague engineer from the battlefield, so that's our plan. I'll just do it. We'll just get this win the dirtiest way possible. We just need a we need a, we need a W, folks. We, we, we got to book one here. Mono black goblins. We're trying our best, but and then who's uh whose deck tech was this? Whose deck tech was this? We'll do that after this after this match. The one mana black chaining is unblockable. I mean like. What does a 1-1 one, one unblockable like do for our deck? You know, Shambling Goblin, like, as you saw, that game is a, a thing you can sacrifice to stuff. It can maybe kill things, but... Thoughtseize over Inquisition? We're playing both. We have four Thoughtseize and two, two, two Inquisitions. And they, they, don't, they don't have company. We, we, we've, we've, seen, we've seen their deck. We saw their whole deck with our Earwig squad. There's a lot of Lords, Winding Ways... Nothing really uh, too crazy. A 20 turn clock? That's true. That's true. I mean, the unblockable thing would make your big squad better. I guess you could, like, try and... There's like also, like, a rogue goblin that's, like, prowls for two, and whenever a rogue is unblocked, he gets, like, plus two to his power. Could maybe try something like that. No, yeah, we, we cut some of the discard spells, but not all of them. Let's do it. Alright, um... This hand is kind of mopey. I kind of want a mulligan. They kept seven, too. We don't have a third land. We don't have a plague engineer. We don't have a kill spell. I'm gonna mulligan this hand. Oh my god, these earwig squads are killing me. Just killing me. Oh, no. No, I want to get a W here on Mog Monday. This hand is, uh, is unbelievably bad. 
Uh, we're gonna mulligan. All right, this is better. Uh, ship sling gang. Probably just gang gang, honestly. <laughs> just, just keep the jun. Ship the goblins. Keep the jun card. It's funny, like push isn't even like that good against them, as we don't revolt super easily, and they have so many three mana lords. Putrid Goblin. Come on. Come on, Putrid Goblin. Donate link for deck text. It's just on the stream below the stuff. Um, one of the mods can be link it in chat. I'm not sure if you can donate for mobile. Or in the Reef the Vastwood, come in and clutch for us here. Heritage Druid? Okay. And the question is, do we push the Heritage Druid? Draw land? We did draw land. That's actually pretty nice. Um, we did draw land. Problem would be if they just like, played multiple lords next turn. I think we just say go with the intent to kill Heritage Druid if they play another uh, another elf. We'd like to keep them from dumping a bunch of stuff in play. Clan core. Perfect. Perfect. Couldn't be more perfect. We'll line them up. We'll knock them down, Plague Engineer. Let's go. Let's get this W. Because they can't play another Lord unless they go land second clan caller. But I have a push anyway, so. Oh, Plague Engineer, lock it up. We get some hype in chat, please, for the, the match win here with Mono Black Goblins. We get some hype in chat, please, for this match win with Mono Black Goblins. Can we get some hype in chat, please? Can we do it? No hype for Plague Engineer. I almost named Goblin. Elf. Taste it. Let's go. Plague Engineer. Bringing us to the promised land here on uh, on Mog Monday episode 36. Oh, boy. You either die a hero or you live long enough to see yourself cast Plague Engineer. Oh, that's a Heritage Druid. That's not going to work the way you want it to. Mono Black Goblins gets a W. I'm, I'm, I'm calling it right now, too. I'm, I'm just calling the W. Um, let's go. Let's go. Still going strong out there too, those chainsaws. Kind of interested to see what they're doing. And now we have push. We, drew, we, drew, we even drew a fetch land for the push. So now if they play a, an elf floor, we can just kill it. It's all coming together. It's all coming together. Two and a half hours of mono black goblin. One green in the pool. We're getting we're getting carried to our first victory. Tap two mana, so there you go, sure. Thoughtsies. Uh, I don't want to actually crack my fetch, but I will Thoughtsies. Uh, Clan Caller, Azuri, Imperious Perfect. Who called Imperious Perfect in chat? 
Nissa Steel Leaf Champion. It's actually a pretty hefty lineup there. Um, we'll take the Steel Leaf Champion, I guess. We just kill Nissa, so. That's a hefty crew. That's a hefty crew. J.O., give me that deck list, please. MTG uh, Goldfish format, please. Oh, we 5 0 last week, so in theory we should we should we should o five this week. That's what I was going for, but had to pull through. Just had to pull through. We still went. Yeah, they're they're too they're too far gone now. They play one threat, we push it, untap, attack for eight, and they're just dead. So I'm calling the game. Game. Blouses. Right now, that's a W, folks. We did it. Um. This is a meme, folks. Don't play this deck ever. This deck should never be played ever again. Uh, yeah, you put the link there. You got perfect. All right, so uh, my Monday, Mono Black Goblins. You've heard me muse about it for the last few months, and uh, there it is. We want a match. We want a match. Mono Black Goblins, episode 36, Mog Monday. Um... We never comboed. I mean, like, comboing is a pipe dream. We just have, you know, we it's a three-card combo with four with four of each combo piece and no way to tutor or draw cards, you know. But um, yeah, don't let your memes be dreams. So um, YouTube folks, like, comment, subscribe. If you want to see actual good gameplay, watch last week's video where I five would playing uh, persist combo goblins. All right, YouTube folks, I love you. Like, comment, subscribe.